right, we are back. My name is Todd from Co2 Cards. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Instead of opening up cases and talking about different cards, I wanted to show you my Runic deck profile. I think it's really, really cool. I am not the best duelist. I am not very good. I wish I was better. But I am pretty good at building decks. And just uh, in actually playing, my brain doesn't work that way. But this is a really good deck because I've had some good success uh, with this deck. Um, and so I want to I wanna get into it. It is a nasty deck. It is nasty to play against. It will, it will give your opponent... A lot of different problems that they're gonna have to sort out and one of the things that I figured out in this deck is um, the importance of siding for the second match um, and I'll go into that in a bit but I'm gonna I'm gonna just lay out the deck in the comments below let me know what you think let me know if I can improve this deck where I can make it better um, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, we're brand new to YouTube, trying to get the channel up and running. It would be very much appreciated. Consider liking as well. Um, so let me get right into it. I'm going to move the camera down and uh, give you a look at my runic deck profile. All right. So what we're going to start with. So we're going to start with our beautiful field center. Uh, this is from, uh, we buy them from V. Shout out to V. This is absolutely beautiful field center. Super cool. It's got like a rubber back on it. It's just a, a really cool field center. Um, so uh, we start with that. Then we only run three monsters in this deck. We run the Majesty's Fiend. Uh, love this card. Love using this card. Absolutely fun card to use. This will give your, your opponent a lot of problems. Put this on the field and they cannot use um, monster effects, um, which is going to basically hurt their deck right off the bat particularly if you win the dice roll so we start with those three then we go into the king of the deck which is the runic fountain super great card you get this on the field uh, you're going to be able to get that draw three every turn. This is the heart and the soul of the deck. I do have one collector's rare. I did not get the other ones, but uh, super cool. Um, from there, you move on to the second best card in the deck, which is the tip. This is going to allow you to search whatever you need to search. Um, any runic card you need to search. You go get it, absolutely phenomenal card right there. Then we're going to go into our three ofs of the runic cards. We're going to go into uh, Destruction, which is my favorite, because they generally have at least one back row, and this allows you to mill four off of their deck. So this is the biggest mill that you have in here from there we're going to go into three flashing fire um, this is going to remove a special summon monster from the field uh, from there we're going to go into three curses this is gonna this is kind of like an imperm this is going to let you uh, negate the effects uh, of a monster on the field and then the last three of, of the runic cards is the slumber. This is kind of a pretty standard at this point. Three slumber. Um, great card. And then and then we're going to look at two uh, two ofs. I play these at two ofs. A lot of people play them at one. But I want to see the runic cards often. Because I want to keep getting that mill three. So I do play 
two golden droplets. I know that it's nobody wants to let their opponent draw another card, but this is this is really good. It does allow you to uh, mill four, I believe, just like the other. Yeah, and then if you do that with this card. This card then will allow you to get another three cards out of their deck. So um, I love the, these ratios. And then the last Rooney card, I do play two Smiting Storms. I know a lot of people only play one. But if, if somebody's got a board with four or five cards on there, this card is really good. And it will, it will hurt. Um, then we move from from there to our spells that we're running at three. I do run three Messenger of Peace. This is another very good card. Um, this card is is basically any any um, monster over fifteen hundred cannot attack. So uh, and the cost of this card is a hundred life points. So it's basically free. Uh, from there, we gotta we gotta get our cards. So we are playing the uh, three pot of duality. Um, pretty great card, self-explanatory. Now this is where my deck gets a little bit different from a lot of other decks. I do uh, main deck two heat wave, um, and I know that. Some people are siding these in. Some people are not playing these at all. But when you bring out Heat Wave onto the field, that is... People do not like to see this card. Uh, this card, basically, if you're not familiar with Heat Wave, if this card is activated, you have to activate this at the start of your turn. And uh, neither player can normal or special summon an effect monster until my next draw phase. Which means that you've basically shut down their board. Um, they do not like to see this card. I like to play cards that my opponent does not want to see. And this is certainly one of them. And I do round out the spells with one card of demise. This is basically free in Runic. It's a free draw three. You just set your cards, play uh, play the Demise, draw three, and then set your... I mean, it, it's an absolutely beautiful card. It's kind of a must. You, you got to play that. So you move into your traps, and this is where, you know, the nastiness continues. Like I said, this is a nasty deck, and it is fun to play. It is not fun to play against. So I do run two Rivalry of Warlords. Great card. Uh, in addition to that, I run two. There can only be one. As well as two goes in match. You get any combination of goes in match. There can only be one Rivalry of Warlords. And there's a good chance that your opponent can only play one card. That's pretty great. One of the things I realized this deck does struggle with is that once cards are on the field, you do sometimes have a problem getting rid of them. So I do like to play the double dogmatic punishment just as a way of getting rid of some problematic cards. Uh, the, the last card that I have found that people have tremendous problems with when I get this on the field is I do place two soul levy. This card is phenomenal fun to play. If you get this out, um, your opponent, every time your opponent special summons a monster, they have to send the top three cards of their deck to the graveyard. Uh, this will continue to mill out their deck, especially if you're playing a deck that is special summoning from their deck during their turn quite a bit. I brought this out against a Dark World guy, and he had all sorts of problems. They will divert all their attention to getting rid of this card and Heat Wave um, when those cards are on the field, meaning they're leaving your other cards alone which is pretty nice. 
Now, what I found with this deck is I found that I win turn one, but it's a long match. And then we go into turn two, and I run into time. And because I don't attack, and they do attack, I've generally taken a little bit of damage. They end up winning turn two, even though... I've milled out so many of their cards. And then the match ends in a draw, and it's been super frustrating because I have dominated the match, destroyed them game one. Game two, I, I can't finish it because of time, and it ends up being a draw. So what I do, or what I'm doing right now, is I am siding in three cards. So I take two cards out, or I take three cards out. I generally remove one Heat Wave, Card of Demise, and one other card, and I side in these three. I side in this Soul Absorption, which is an amazing card. If a card is banished, I gain 500 life points for each card card that is banished this card is tremendous so uh when this card's on the field you are just gaining life points oh like massive amounts of life points in one turn you'll gain four thousand five thousand life points um this is another card when it's on the field your opponent is going to do everything they can to get rid of this card that is my runic deck and go into the extra deck my extra deck is standard this is super fast i play two or three hugan i play um three of the wings i play three gary i play three of the fangs it's going to bring you to um 12 and then the last two cards i only play 14 the last two cards are i play two elter entis to go with the dogmatica punishments and that is essentially my runic deck profile i do have a side deck that i use i do side two dd dynamites just for fun i do side in three evenly matches i don't side these in very often i do side in two skill drain as well and so those are the traps that i have in my side deck and then i also have one other heat wave one day of peace and a couple runic cards um, that is pretty much my side deck right there. Um, this is a super cool deck. If you're, you know, ever frustrated with the format and you just want to play a fun deck, uh, this will get you some wins. Um, I've enjoyed playing the runic deck immensely and, um, I hope it's helpful. Um, if you're interested in playing runic, um, it, <laughs> If you saw some things that I'm missing, some things that might be beneficial, I'm always looking to add different cards to the runic deck to try to play set or uh, to um, to uh, just practice um, putting together different decks. So um, leave a comment. Let me know what I missed. And uh, that's pretty much it for uh, for our video today. Once again, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're brand new. We're going to be doing all sorts of content, deck profiles, case openings. We're going to be opening up a uh, case of maze of memories very soon. And then also I'm considering buying another case of tactical masters. If that's something you'd like to, to see, uh, let me know. Um, and, uh, and, and we'll go out and do that. One comment, uh, you know, one person leaves a comment and says, yeah, I'll watch you open up a case of Tactical Masters and we'll go buy it. So that's the deck profile. I'm out for today and I've enjoyed my time with you.